What's up, man? Okay, so in one of my newer videos, my top five fish for beginners, if you haven't seen that video, I highly suggest you guys stop in, check it out, click on the link, and it'll bring you to another window, pause it, and then go back to it later. Or if you want, you can check it out in the description below. But I got a comment. I made a remark about glowfish and how I particularly don't care for them too much. Not the fish, but the method behind them. And I got a comment and it says, please make a video on your problem with glowfish. And I said to myself, okay, let's do that. I'll, I'll engage my audience and do what they say. And then it turned into a little more. Well, it turned into a little bit of a uh, debate and I decided to bring my opinion and my thoughts on glowfish. Let's dive into that. This is actually the next video in my playlist called How to Care for Fish. It's a great playlist that's full of great information for you new beginners out there. So definitely be sure to go to the playlist and check it out. That way you can learn about all types of fish. Another thing is, Wayne's Fish World is on Facebook.com. Over there you're getting tons of little sneak peeks on what I'm doing and what I'm planning in the future. So go over there, see what's going on, and become a part of the community. There's a lot of controversial today about glowfish. Some people will tell you that glowfish are tattooed and it's inhumane. While the other half will tell you that the fish are dyed. Well, it turns out none of that is true. The glowfish in today's market are actually descendants of the original glowfish. So that means you could actually have baby glowfish in your aquarium if they were to successfully spawn. Just because these animals are fluorescent doesn't mean they're a different species. You have animals that are albino, meaning they're white, or melanistic, meaning they're black. This is a new pigment in animals. It's just fluorescent colorations. They're still the same species, they're just a different coloration. In 1999, Dr. Zion Gong introduced a protein from a green jellyfish into the embryo of a zebra danio. It was successful and the zebra danio hatched and it became the first glowfish. We know that the green glowfish actually got its fluorescent colorations from the proteins of a jellyfish. Well, where did all these other colorations come from? They came from different resources. And some of the resources were actually corals. Yes, corals are actually animals, and scientists took the proteins of SPS corals and injected it in the embryos to create new colorations. For you saltwater people, have you ever noticed when you switch your aquarium over to different lighting that's more in the blue spectrum, your corals seem to pop and become more vibrant in colorations. The same thing applies when you turn your moon lights on and SPS corals just seem to pop and become more vibrant. Another thing is that the fish actually don't glow. They're just fluorescent. I want you to think about this scenario. If you take a highlighter and turn off all the lights, is it emitting any light? It's not. The fact is, is that the light that's put on the glowfish are enhancing the colorations of the fish. So while I was editing this video, I sat back and thought to myself, wow, I actually made a video not too long ago titled Top 5 Fish for Beginners. And in that video, there was five fish that I mentioned that was an excellent choice for any beginner. It was the white cloud minnow, the skirted tetra, the tiger barb, the zebra danio, and the beta. Now, I got thinking about that and I said, you know, all the glowfish that are on the market today are almost corresponding with that video. And for good reason. You want to have fish that are super hardy in the hands of beginners. Glowfish aren't necessarily targeted to an audience who is more advanced in fish keeping. They're directed to an impulse buyer. They're directed to someone who's new in the aquarium and that way they can get a fish that is beautiful, it's got lots of coloration, lots of movement, and it's super hardy. It's hard to kill. And for good reason. So I'm actually making a little bit of a prediction. All the glowfish are actually deprived from fish that are super hardy. So I guarantee you, if they haven't thought about it, if someone sees this video in headquarters, I think that the beta is going to be one of the next fish that's going to be turned into a glowfish. The reason I say that is, is because people buy betas in bowls and cups out of impulse buying alone. Just say, oh, it's a pretty fish, let's take it home. Now, you turn that beta into a fluorescent color, people are going to be buying them off the shelf left and right. So, who knows, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, but if I'm right, it's going to be pretty cool to look back and see this video and see that I actually predicted it. Let's talk about the how to care for glowfish. Maybe I shouldn't have titled this video that because it's kind of misleading. 
Each glowfish is an individual species. You have zebra danios, you have white skirt tetras, and you have green tiger barbs. They're coming up with new species such as angelfish and other cichlids, but glowfish are still their own individual species. To really understand how to care for the fish, we need to do the research and the homework on the fish itself. If it's a danio, we need to do the research on a danio. If it's a white skirt tetra, we need to do the research on that. And if it's a tiger barb, we need to do the research on a tiger barb and treat those fish as if they are those species and not a glowfish. If you want to do any more research on glowfish, I highly recommend you go on to www.glowfish.com. There's a lot of good information over there if you guys are interested in glowfish. Set your own aquarium up so you can enjoy it. At the end of the day, it's your aquarium and you're the one enjoying it. So make yourself happy and don't forget, make your fish happy. I hope you liked this video, guys. I got plenty more coming. Comment, rate, and subscribe. This is Wayne with Wayne's Fish World. Later.